Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today, we're powder coating a blower housing. Not with just regular old boring old powder coat. We're talking chrome and some metallic -y black. This is gonna look badass, let's go. All right, so first off, we're using Columbia Coatings products. We're gonna get this into a epoxy primer, all of these parts in this box for the same gentleman. Um, then we're gonna be using the Chroma Chrome. So that's step two. And then we're gonna be applying some, uh, then you've gotta put a clear coat on it. Um, and then we're gonna be applying some of the, like, I think it's Astro Black. It's got a crazy metallic flake in the black because we got a little something special that we had made from our buddies over at Main Off-Road. Uh, cut it out on their plasma table. This is going on the blower as well because it's part of a build that you may see oh, on social media pretty soon. So I'll start getting these parts hung up in the booth. We'll get some epoxy primer on them, get them in the oven, so they just flow out. So meaning that that primer just gets glossy and that's it, you take them out. Cause you're not going for the full cure yet. All right guys, we got them in primer. This is the primer, primer that we're using, the gray epoxy primer from Columbia Coatings. Now, 10 minutes at 400, we just want that to flow out. So that's not part temperature at 400. We just want this to flow. So we've got these in primer right now and I went ahead and wiped off all the areas that we don't want the primer and or plug the holes and the screw holes where you didn't want it. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and put these in the oven and get them to just flow out, meaning glossy. Pull them out, then we start to chrome. All right guys, the parts are in the oven. They're flowing out with that epoxy primer on there. This is the chrome we're gonna use. It's Chroma Chrome from Columbia Co Coatings. And this stuff here is really good. It's probably the chromiest chrome looking powder coat that I have found and works the best. Um, any chrome does require a clear. Um, if the customer decides not to put that clear, that's up to them. But it is highly recommended you put a clear to prevent like uh, tarnishing and fading of the chrome. But it is a very bright chrome and that is going on next. All right, a whole bunch of pieces and parts out of the oven, but back down here to the blower, as you can see, that powder has flowed out the primer, but we're still glossy, so it's not cured yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay that chrome on there once this cools back down. All right, we got our, our chrome loaded into the gun, and it looks a lot like primer, but I tell you what, it ain't gonna look like primer real soon. So we'll get this applied, vacuum it off, and wipe it off the areas we don't want, and then you wait and see. The chrome is on, <laughs> I know, right? It looks like more primer. Uh, and one of the things we do with a flashlight here is because you can see thin spots. If you had an area that wasn't covered good, it would be real shiny through that powder. So basically that's how you inspect it to make sure you get good coverage all the way around. But now we're gonna go through and vacuum out all the areas, blow it out, whatever you're gonna do. We got all the little tools and tricks to do that as well. Um, get them in the oven. These are gonna go for a full cure. So these go in there at 350 for 15 minutes, fully cured in order to get the best um, shine out of that powder. Even though most of the time you wouldn't do that if you're gonna apply a clear, but with the chrome you do. All right, just pull them out of the oven. Now these are fully cured, which isn't what you usually do if you're gonna apply a clear. But however, in this case, you wanna fully cure it to get the most out of that chrome. And as you can see, that stuff for a powder coat chrome is pretty darn impressive. Now, this is before the clear coat, which is gonna dull it out a little bit, but it's also gonna protect that longevity. So we're gonna let these things cool, hit them with a clear, and then that'll be the final result. All right, guys, the clear is applied, and yes, they are all white now, except for the places where you don't want the powder, which is in the openings on the, on the uh, ceiling surfaces and whatnot. So now these will go in. I haven't done this one yet. This is the last piece uh, to put in the clear. And again, it's gonna take a little bit of the shininess away, but you really need to put that clear on there to have this thing be done in a finished product. At that point, they will be all done. They'll be sealed, they'll be primered, chrome, and clear. It's a three-step process, plus you're blasting. It's a lot involved, but at the end, they look sweet. All right, as you can see, we're using our multi-coat nozzle on our uh, powder coat gun here. This allows for a nice, smooth, even coat. Um, and that's important as well when you're putting that final coat on that you want some good coverage. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing coated up real nice. I'm not gonna be able to do it with my camera, so I'll put this down. And then uh, get her in the oven. Here we go. Into the confines for the final product. Whatever. In you go. See you in 20 minutes. 
Welcome back, you hot. I am. All right, guys. They are out of the oven. They are out of clear now, and they are still shiny chrome. Um, but you can see it, it takes a little tiny bit of shininess away. I've gone ahead and peeled the tape off from the uh, pulley surfaces where the belt would ride because we had that taped off. I got to pull the plugs out here. I'll get them out in another view so you can kind of get a. Well, maybe I'll put them on a, on the uh, stand so you can kind of get a real good view of what these look like or the chrome so you got even an idea what you'd be looking for. All right, guys, there it is. That's a pretty good light in here. It's pretty close. I mean, it isn't chrome. I, they call it chrome. Obviously, a true chrome plating is shinier than this, but for Parta coat, this is one of the best chromes that I have seen and applied. And I mean, it's only gonna be as smooth as the, pro, the porous, like, like this is a cast aluminum housing. So it's only gonna be as smooth as that is. But this is nice, it's shiny. This thing's gonna look killer all put together. And it's got some uh, astro black accents that are going on this as well. But I really wanted to kind of show you the process in the chrome itself. So basically you end up blasting your part. You gotta do your epoxy primer. Let that just flow out. Take it back out, let it cool off. Then you're gonna get into your chrome. Fully cure your chrome to get the most shine you can out of it. Let that cool. Then go ahead and finish up with your acrylic clear. That's, uh, it's quite a few steps to this to get to that finished product of the chrome. But at the end of the day, it comes out real nice. It's super cool, it's a different look. I really like it. It almost looks like a really highly polished aluminum to me. That's just my opinion. But anyway, drop a comment and let us know what you think. Did another powder coating video today. I'm gonna try to do some more of these as we get into some other projects because I haven't been good about doing them um, as far as publishing them on YouTube. So thanks for watching, Scott Flippin' Customized.